what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Louis Reynoso, because you already know. So today I will be discussing on how you can make a stop motion video. So you're saying, what is a stop motion video, Louis? When the camera is stopped repeatedly and then started again after an object or person has moved. And what's going to happen, it gives the illusion that the person that you're shooting or the object is moving without exactly moving. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo on how you could do this. So the first thing you have to do is obviously you have to shoot with your DSLR or any type of camera. So the first thing you have to do is you have to take the ca your camera, whether it's a DSLR or any type of camera, a power shot, a Canon, Nikon, doesn't matter, camcorder, basically going to be taking pictures of whatever you want. So for example, if you take your phone and put it on top of the desk, you take a picture and then you move your phone wherever you want, you take another picture. Now the key to this is that you shouldn't move your camera. You should have it in a fixed location. So basically you need a, some sort of tripod. Either you could stack up some some textbooks, some CDs, whatever. So, But it needs to be on a flat surface because if it moves, it's gonna mess up the image when you go to post-production. So every little movement you make of that phone or of that object in general, you take a photo. So once you have about 50, 100, 200, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be more than one picture that you're taking in order for this to work. So what you're gonna have to do is you take all those images and you import it to whatever editing software. Today I'm going to show you on how to do it on Final Cut Pro X. I already exported my images and it's right here. I created uh, an event and I created its own project. And what's going to happen is, as you can see, as I scroll and keep scrolling, it's basically different images of a newspaper. So in this example, I'm, sh I'm showing you a little demo of of me manipulating a newspaper, whether it's ripping it, folding it, changing it in different location, as long as it's in the frame. So what you're gonna have to do is you click on the gray spot right here for any Final Cut Pro users out there. You press Command A and it will highlight all the images and then you take whichever one you want and hold it, click and hold, and then drag to the, your timeline. And then this is going to pop. If this box pops up, then just leave it as the format 1080p, 1920 by 1080. However, the rate, you should change it to 29.97p. Or else it won't look good once you export it. Press OK. And then once you press OK, you can see that it's in the timeline. What you could do is press Shift Z. That's how you could minimize and make it and make everything, all the images fit on your timeline. But what, what you could do is press Z it, because you want to zoom in and then just drag to one location of your timeline and that's it. So, and then press A. If all your images are not already highlighted, you could press Command A. Make sure they're all highlighted, all of them. So what's going to happen is that you, you're going to press the first image, right click it, Go to change duration. Once you press whatever duration you want, it's going to be shown on the time code. So for example, if you want to press 8, it's going to be right here in the middle and then press enter. So before I play it, I want to just recap. The first thing, you have to shoot whatever you want, any object or person with your camera. It could be any type of camera. Every movement the person does or every change of location, the, the object moves, is a different shot. You're going to compile all those pictures, import it to your editing software, drag it to your timeline, change the duration when you right click it, and then when you change the duration, it could be two, three, four, five, it doesn't matter. But basically the duration means that that number is the amount of seconds it will take for each image to play. So if you choose seven, it will take seven seconds for each image to play. The last thing that's very, very important is because you cannot move your camera because it needs to be in a fixed location, I suggest you get a remote for your camera. 
In a remote, a wireless remote is basically when you press the button. It usually has one button. The wireless remote that I used for my camera to shoot this was an Amazon Basics remote. And it's very small, from eight to ten dollars. It I don't remember. I'll definitely post up the link down below if you guys want to check it out. And what's gonna happen is that every movement you make, and once you take a picture, you press a button, and and, and it will take a picture for you. That's how you don't have to physically use your fingers to press a shutter button. Because once you do that, there's a high probability that you will move the camera, and you don't want that because you want everything to be on frame and be still. That's why you need a tripod and a remote. So now, enjoy the music and enjoy the demo. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up if you like it. See ya.